Hello to you all dear guys, today we are going to make an earring with the golden bee that we had in previous tutorials. If you remember and if you don't, no matter, we will have a preview on that so that you could make one. We start by 0.8 or 1 millimeter steel wire that has a silver look. You could choose all of your sizes in one color, but I've decided to make this design with two color, the main structure with the steel and golden V with brass wire that has a golden look. Brass wire that I need are in 0.8 and 0.5 thick. So we start by 1 millimeter or 0.8 millimeter steel wire and then make a little loop with your round nose pliers. It could be any other materials that you desire and is your preference. Okay, it's just like this, something like a P shape in this manner. It's more like a Q, but however, then with your thumb, Make it a little round. All over this part, just like when you're making a circle. Do that little by little. And in every part. And of course, the wire that you choose for this work is semi-soft, not that soft because this is going to be put in the ear and it should have a proper softness, not too much. And you continue doing this and making a big circle but you don't close the circle and you just cut it out somewhere in between here I think it's okay and when you have finished and you have done forming this wire it's like a big circle just cut the wire out with the wire cutter of course for the steel wire you need a stronger wire cutter that I'm using this type it's okay and then this is the part that is going to be put in the ear and then at this part we are going to add golden V's so let's go and make these golden shapes if you remember we talked about how to make golden bees and we talked that these are so popular and we could make so many designs and jewelries with these wire V shapes. First of all, make a Q or P with your round nose pliers on the wire and then 
make a 90 degree bend and make another loop or curve here just in front of the other loop that you had made then again it would be your first loop and you would continue doing this with making another 90 degree bend and then make a loop in front of the previous one and you would continue that for at least six or seven times it depends on you and the length that you desire and we would come back and continue i have made 11 of these v shapes that could cover like this okay at the end we need to cut the wire out just at the end of the last loop just like this Now make it round. If it's lost its shape and close it. Now we need to make it a little round and with your round nose pliers make every two loop a little closer. so that you could do that better. Now it has a curved shape itself. Now we need to attach these two parts together and it would be like this. It would be beautiful, isn't it? Even the two color, I think, is attractive. What do you think? Do you like to do that with one color or you like multicolor like me? Okay. First of all, make a tie at the starting point of your first structure. So with inserting the thinner wire and Making it tight and continue doing that to make a little coil here. I'm using my round nose pliers to do that better. Continue that at least for three or four times, three is enough. Then we move the coil at this point and we cut the thinner wire at about 25 to 30 centimeters. And then we're going to attach these two parts. Just put the golden V here and then insert the thinner wire into the first loop and be careful to make the first tie straight and perfect. And after inserting the thinner wire again, throw it back into the main structure and make a little coil at the starting point. And then push it so that these two parts attach to each other firmly. If needed, use your round nose pliers to do that better. 
and then continue this at least two times in every loop and do that for the other loops till you get all along this golden bees And this is the result after we attached the golden part into the silver part. And we could make the plastic part of our tool to make it more straight. And let's test it out and see how would be the result on the ear, how it would look. I think it's so beautiful, even in two color and in uh, the multicolor. But you can make both parts in one color. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you would make one and enjoy it so much. Goodbye.